It's getting harder to tell what's real or fake with recent advances in artificial intelligence. Today, AI tech continues to improve to be used in various industries, including broadcasting. Shin Yeon zooms in on the evolution. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'm Moon Gan Young in Seoul. Wherever you are in the world, stay safe. Real or fake? Only one of these two anchors is an actual person. The other is a virtual human. Can you guess which is which? This is AI Jennifer, who came to life at this year's Consumer Electronics Show. She's the AI version of Arirang's very own Moon Gon Young. Her job is to present the news in both English and Korean. It's also to interact with people in real time when the actual Moon Gon Young isn't at the studio. The mastermind behind this invention is the company Deep Brain. As a growing giant in the AI industry, Deep Brain is adept at creating human-based AI avatars using video synthesis technology. This is where virtual humans are born. It's the first stage of production. People would come inside this studio and record themselves talking for hours and reading hundreds of sentences. Then engineers would compile these recorded files and start the deep learning process. Deep Brain's current level of technology has been eye-opening, which explains why it's in high demand for many other occupations like bank clerks and information desk guides. But the company aims to go even further. It usually takes us around two weeks to create one virtual human, but if we take on many projects at once, it takes much longer. That's why we're trying to find a way to minimize the amount of data needed for the deep learning process. We're also trying to expand our target to even more industries, particularly to individuals that can express a wider array of emotions. There is also an AI invention that can help reporters out in the field. It's Synapse's voice cloning technology. After listening to 30 minutes of voice recordings, an AI voice secretary is born. It replicates the speaker's distinctive characteristics and can also convey an individual's emotional expressions. This may come handy when a reporter can't send a voiceover or when there's breaking news. Our goal isn't to replace humans, though. Recently, a lot of voice actors raised concerns that they would lose their jobs once our tech advances. But what we're trying to do is help them work even more without being restrained by their location or time. There are more developments yet to come. Apart from detecting distinctive traits in my voice, this AI technology aspires to become more natural. Take a listen to what my AI voice secretary has to say on this. I will try showing more emotions and use two languages at once in a single sentence. Qin Yan, Aram Yu's.